Stephanie Ramirez joins us from that scene with that interview. Steph? And Sharin, it's dark now, but this actually happened right in this intersection during daylight back on October 4th, right here at C and 12th Street Northeast. The judge involved today telling the reverend arrested, 64-year-old Sam Holloway, that he is lucky he is not facing charges that would have put him behind. It's a reverend. <laughs> that reverend. Did that shit. Yeah, I heard that from the beginning. <laughs> reverend did it. Something wrong with here his mind. at C and 12th Street Northeast. The judge involved today telling the Reverend arrested 64 year old Sam Holloway that he is lucky he is not facing charges that would have put him behind bars for years instead of the sentence he was handed down today. And as you mentioned, I did speak with the mother who was also hit in this. Her six year old son's leg was broken. She told me she's coping with this sentence, but still has a lot of questions like why the man arrested was able to have Virginia tagged. You know, it doesn't feel good. Oh, to know don't expose us. Going to jail. And he has apologized and all around, you know, it's this situation is tough. So, uh, you know, if anything, I hope that this serves as sort of a reminder for drivers in the D.C. that, you know, there are consequences. And the judge also admonished Holloway for only turning himself in after an attorney and after police. Oh, he's a super woke brother. Lumumba. <laughs> He's a whole tap. Oh, you got the dust. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But when he hit a little kid, he just drove off. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> he was white. That was a was that a white kid? Yeah. Yeah, white kid. Yeah. yeah. He's supposed to get out like be the reverend and do something like yeah. the reverend, like pray over his leg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Like, God damn, man. It, it, it's like God sent you. You're supposed to be like, God put me here for a reason. <laughs> Save souls. Come to my church and when you heal up or some shit like that. That nigga just like, <laughs> out of here. Fuck y'all, man. God damn. <laughs> Niggas ain't shit, man. Yeah. Oh, shit. oh, dude. God, God. And the judge also admonished Holloway for only turning himself in after an attorney and after police impounded the SUV. You can see a photo of Holloway from the beloved community church website he belongs to. A camera caught him plowing into a mom and her two children, as well as a family dog back on October 4th after the family had entered into the crosswalk by seeing 12th Street's Northeast. He backs up, a good Samaritan then runs toward the vehicle, appearing to get Holloway to pull over, which he does, but then the 64-year-old takes off. In court, his attorney claimed that Holloway didn't take his high blood pressure medication that day. He was thinking straight, <laughs> thought the Good Samaritan running toward him was going to assault him. And in his statement expressing remorse, the 64-year-old said, I was scared and I panicked. Fellow ministers at his Aquakeek, Maryland church spoke with us after court. He is what he was trying to do was try to tell him to stop. With this and we're praying for that family. Yeah, this is, listen, man, this guy right here, he's not doing no time. I don't have a problem with it, considering they let the Sun Team stick guns in people's faces and run over them with their own cars when they fleeing. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a problem. Given what it is, the state right. of the situation, I don't have a problem with this guy not doing no time for that family as well and yes there is a place for reverend holloway in our ministry no doubt because all of us have fallen short right i mean that's what the text says any like the leading by example is uh yeah. is by doing exactly what he did do by turning himself in after he told the vehicle now court like, documents say holloway took yeah yeah he did he did but still like at least it, it's still better like the bars in hell man like he he did more than like what the typical son man would do, and I get it. Yeah. No, I yeah. feel you, but if I, I feel you, but if I'm a part of his church or his congregation, I'm out of there. Cause like, look, you lied, niggas. Like, bro, you just lied. You said I didn't take my medicine. Oh, the people, the dude looked like he skipped. The, the good Samaritan looked like he wanted to come and intimidate me to fight me. So you you drive off? No, you just pull to the side. Like, yo, my bad. The dude's trying to tell him stop, don't leave, and he's he lied about that. Like. No, I'm, yeah. I'm all set. You're the reverend, man. That's wild, bro. That's wild. Yeah.
I mean, I don't know, man. Sun man run up on me anywhere in the city. I don't know if I'm gonna stick around. (laughs) I'm sixty. I'm sixty, sixty something. If a sun man running towards me anywhere in the city, I don't know if I'm gonna be around like that. To be honest with you, I mean, no, that 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 is that's definitely true, man. Um, definitely true. Um, yeah, sun man, yeah, just just. It's so aggressive, man, and yeah, man. Yeah, even when doing the right thing, it's, it's yeah. still aggressive. Hey, hey, man, pull over, man. You just hit the, you just hit that <laughs> little, you just hit that little kid, man. Hell hey, yeah. pull over, man. Hey, come on, man. That shit fucked up, man. You what? Oh, you try leaving? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you think you you better think they about to fight with you? Like, oh yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's yeah, like I give him that. I ain't gonna hold you. I give him that, but that high blood pressure medication shit. I don't know. <laughs> That's wow. <laughs> yeah. Day that he wasn't thinking straight, thought the good Samaritan running toward him was going to assault him, and in his statement expressing remorse, the 64 year old said, "I look, he comes out of nowhere." <laughs> fellow ministers at his ac- yeah, he probably was like, "Yo, this, this, I don't know what the fuck's going on." He was telling him to slow down. He was telling him to leave. He was telling him to leave. Nah, I know. But leave. It's the city, <laughs> DC, man. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna hold you. I, I wouldn't because because what do you got to? Because think about it. You got to pull over. You got to sit there. You got to wait. You don't know how long mm-hmm. the police gonna take. In the meantime, this sun man, other people <laughs> might come outside. Like, oh yeah, yeah, like. <laughs> I, if it would have been southeast, man, if it would have been, if this was on the south side, or even like, man, this northeast, if if this had been like Kenilworth or Saratoga, yeah. somewhere like that, man, I'm shit. I definitely That's would peel off. Head. I would peel off at my age now. Yeah. <laughs> like, let alone sixty four. Yeah, I would have probably just um. Yeah, and then of course, then once you peel off, you're trying to get away. And then once you feel like, oh, they got me, then you go turn yourself in. So he did everything a regular son man would do. But just you expect more of him because he's a pastor and you should. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he's a reverend. It's like, dude, me being part of your congregation, me seeing it's like, dude, you first of all, you hit somebody and you didn't put to the side. Come on, you supposed to get out like, like you said, pray on him or something. Like, let's wait for the cops to come. Like it didn't have to go that far with you backing up and jumping out. Do you know I mean? Doing all that driving up, like that was that was wild. Nah, that but wild. The, the thing though, here's the thing though. Like being from this area, he he out in Maryland. Ninety percent of his congregation would have done the same thing. That's why. They- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they in the city, he probably like, oh shit, these city niggas. Yeah, 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 and most of them would have done this. They live, in, you know, out in Maryland, whatever. They they would have done the same thing. They'd have been like, so that's why they're not going to trip that much. Right, they know they 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 left they left the city to get yeah, away from they, right to get away from to get away from this dude in the red pants. That's why they all out there. Forty five days suspended. He got eighteen months with supervised probation. A probation that is he has to undergo an alcohol and drug program as well as a traffic program. He has to pay fees. He is no longer yeah, allowed he was to drunk. drive. This is now his third drunk. incident behind the wheel without a permit to drive. Also, guys, Damn. the judge had said in court that he could have faced an additional assault and a separate assault with a dangerous weapon charge for the six-year-old's injury, as well as the vehicle involved. We are checking with prosecutors. Still haven't gotten an answer back yet as to why those charges were not applied in this case. Guys? 